Josh, why is there a boat here? No, the real question is why not, Jake? What's the relevance? Really, there is none, but why not? <laughs> Let's just bring a boat. If we're going to have a party and celebrate this awesome shop, why not bring a big boat to do it? I thought I figured out the relevance the other day. Okay, do you okay. want to hear it? Yeah. Yeah, because it's a Malibu boat that creates a wake out the back when you hear you're awake. Okay. It's that's wrong it's good? That. Yeah, done. All right. We're awake, so there's an Malibu. Next yeah. time someone goes, what's the boat here? Like, We're awake. Yeah, there you go. I like it. Yeah. Good, it. we're on. Big Hal, Hal here at Albury Car Park Sale, Cycle Station, 2018, how good is this? Car park sale? Yeah mate. All going good? Yeah, trying to get a bargain. Oh, have you found any bargains yet? Plenty of bargains mate. Plenty of bargains? Yeah, Fantastic. Yeah. Alright, um, what's the number one bargain at the moment? Bikes. Bikes. Alright, more bikes? More bikes. Excellent. Thank you Chris. Right, Jacob Walkie doing nothing as always. Yeah, on it's his just, phone. Just swiping right. Swiping right, yeah. Okay, I don't know what that means, but that's okay. Internet banking. Oh, internet banking. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Harbour's brew action going over here. Bit of a slick dog happening here. Slick haircut. My favourite humans in the industry. Simbro. Simbro. Rocky Mountain, love the ride. Why is it the first thing I have to do when I rock up is build bikes? Do you think you're the only brand we have here? I know, I, you know. No, I'm not. I didn't even make the t-shirt. <laughs> oh, Rob. Sore point. Oh no, I must Sore move. point. I did not design the t-shirt. Kenny is dead to me. How are you doing? Yeah, good, good. Is this your first car park sale? First car park sale, yeah. And, and how are you finding it? Really enjoying it. Yeah, really sweet. It, yeah. yeah, no worries. You're looking very well. Oh. One of our uh, final legends to get here, Matt from Crush. What are you doing today, Matt? Car park sale. We're here, bud. We finally made it. Yes. Um, yeah, looking forward to cleaning some bikes. And So what are you offering? You're going to wash some bikes up for people, are you? Or? Absolutely. Cycle station customers, bring your dirty bikes down and we'll, uh, we'll get them dialed. One of my favourite customers, Sandra and Rob, from how far away? We're bright. Right. right. Beautiful way. part of the world. Yeah. Great part of the world. So, welcome back. You were here last year and you're back again. Mm. Yes. What did you find? The yeah. bike's good. Yep. Hasn't thrown a shower off yet. No, yeah. Good. What type of bike is it? It's a Rocky Mountain. It's a beautiful bike. Yeah, fantastic. Fast red one. That's very good. Excellent. Mm. Yeah. Well, it's great to have you here. Thanks for coming down. Oh, thank you. And I hope the uh, weather stays nice so we can uh, ride our bikes. Oh, yes. Thanks, all right. Rob. Thanks, Rob. We're still shopping, though. Hello. That's all right. Still shopping. Yeah. you got two more days left. Yes. <laughs> okay, looking for Simon Ross here. Where's Simon Ross? Hey, Simon. How's it going, mate? Good. Simon Ross, brand manager, Rocky Mountain, Australia. What do you got for us? We have a great selection. Pretty much a bike for any type of trail around Albury, around Bright, around Beauty, around Australia. Who wants to get fit? And here's the crew. Party Vibe Central. Good morning. It's early. Security's gone. We're here setting up again on the Saturday morning. Today is the day. Today is D Day, and this inflator doesn't have a battery. Woo, yeah, boy. So, yesterday was massive. Had a great day yesterday. Thanks to everyone who came out and supported the event. Good morning. How we doing? We are. We just can't believe the sun's up. Thought I beat it. It actually it was pitch black already. Happens quick, doesn't it? 
How's the uh, Tim blowing going this morning, Big Al? It's on. Oh. He talks a lot, that fella. Unbelievable. I'm just really enjoying the company tonight. It's a good good crowd out here in Albury. <laughs> Big Al, what are you doing? Welcome. It's Sunday. We're winding down. It is Sunday. Yes. It's a very lovely day today. Yes. You've been here for the long haul. You've been here for an extra day this year. Came in a bit earlier. I just love it so much. How are you feeling? Legs all right? Yeah, legs yeah. all right. Feet are tired. But you know what? Get some customers in front of me. And let's party. Let's party. I think you got a few more bikes left in you. And I've definitely still got a few more bikes left in me. Let's do it, Jake. Big Al, he loves selling stuff like that guy. He's a menace. Party rat. Oh, here he is. Here's one. Mr. Josh. How are you, sir? Good to see you. Yeah, likewise. Yeah. Josh from Yakima. You're a hey, party animal. I was just saying some of the guys like crushing that can't handle early mornings, but here we are. Yeah, exactly. We're you know, just getting it done. Just here early, hanging out with the dogs, and we're yeah. going to be the first in line at the Cafe Museo Coffee. Yeah, How's your weekend been? Yeah, it's been fantastic. Yeah, we've had some really good sales, and customers been happy living with our product. Good. And yeah. you're building racks for people? Yeah, we're putting them together. We are getting it done. Can you just tell me about something over here? I've been wanting to ask you. Okay, sure. Josh, why is there a boat here? No, the real question is why not, Jake? What's the relevance? Really, there is none, but why not? Let's just bring a boat. If we're going to have a party and celebrate this awesome shop, why not bring a big boat to do it? I thought I figured out the relevance the other day. Okay, do you okay. want to hear it? Yeah. Yeah, because it's a Malibu boat that creates a wake out the back. And when you're here, you're awake. Okay, let's roll it's with good? that. good? Yeah, done. All right. We're awake, so there's a Malibu. Next yeah. time someone goes, well, there's a boat here. Like, we're awake. Yeah, there you go. I like it. Yeah. Good, we're it. on. Done. <laughs> I don't really have anyone else to talk to, Kenny, because they're all in bed. Crush, hello, anyone home? So, ladies and gentlemen, the one, the only, the runner-up sibling, Hannah Lee. Oh, you were born second, so. There we go. How are you? I'm good. Hey, look at me, look at him. Now look at me. Now, what are you doing today? Working. <laughs> yeah, doing what? <laughs> Check out Chick. Check out Chick. Also, one of your many roles here at uh, Cycle Station. How's the weekend been? It's been flat out. We have not stopped at the checkout. Has it been smooth or we had some issues? No, smooth the whole time. Smooth. And do you reckon that's got to, something to do with you being there, or? Of course. Yeah. <laughs> do you want to go interview Terry for me? No. Please? No. Come on. No. It'll be funny as. No. Interview Terry. Up, you do it. Interview Terry. Yeah, it was you a second it. interview of you Terry. <laughs> Come on. Oh, good. All right, moving on. <laughs> T-Bone Trevisaurus. Now, before we start, this is Terry Big Dog Dogger Us. Could you just tell everybody the story of these shoes? Jake rang me up this morning and said he needed some coins. So when I went in my cupboard, these two shoes were full of coins <laughs> and they're comfy. My feet fit in them now. Do they have cleats underneath them? They look like old school cycling boots. No, uh, they no, don't. we never had cleats in the old days. So we <laughs> cable tied them on. Or we, actually, we didn't have cable ties then either. I'm, um, I'm very sure that when your wife turns up today, she's going to be very impressed with your outfit. <laughs> It's like Superman, it's like, you're Superman. Yeah, she, I've got a farm cupboard at home where all my farm clothes in, and she gets annoyed when I wear my farm clothes all <laughs> <laughs> How's the sale been? Uh, extraordinary. So extraordinary. Yep. Morning, Jake. Come visit Jake, guys. What up? Everyone, this is Jake McRae, our apprentice here in the kitchen. Nice to meet everyone watching. How's your weekend been? Oh, yeah, it was nice and peaceful. It's not going to be peaceful today, mate. I'm keen for it, though. Yeah? yeah. Good kid. Where's, where's your drink? Show everyone your drink. you got to have me black death. Every day. <laughs> He's in good shape, too. Must be something good about that stuff. Anyway, coffee's about to come out. We're still running our Mansfield 
New kid on the block. Is it New Kid? Pretty sure it's New Kid, it's not House Party. Nah, we're running New Kid. Good coffee. Got a few single origins and stuff from the local boys. It's gonna be a big one, we'll tune in soon when the rest of the guys pull themselves out of bed. You know what they started doing when I left the pub last night, Eric? They started getting Jaeger shots. That's why I knew it was a pretty good time to leave. That's a bit rough. Over. Good morning. How are you feeling? Good. Awesome. Ready to, yeah, ready to rock today. Bit of a night on Aubrey last night. Yeah, it was good to sort of mingle with the locals and get a bit of a vibe. It's a town. good time, isn't it? Well, yeah, you could call it that. Yeah, awesome. I think. How, how are you this morning? How buddy? was your walk down downtown? Do you want to tell us anything about your adventure leaving Cycle Station and heading downtown? And there was nothing memorable. No. Travelling with this guy. Opinions, was, uh, anybody? Was, was there anything memorable about last night's saunter down the street? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, was, I was trying to blend in with the locals. And how'd you do that? <laughs> it's what you're doing, Aubrey. Right? <laughs> no, I was drinking in, 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 in a public place. It was terrible behaviour. Anyway, was, we're, we're all zipped up here, crushing it. How's how's it all going? Selling some gear? Yeah, absolutely. Ready to uh, ready to open up and get busy. I think the interview's over, Kenny. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Again, if anyone at home has some questions, I've got the screen here, so send Oh, yes, in. right, okay, Lovely yeah, rock. far away, far away. Yeah, so somebody said, what product do you use in your hair? Shampoo and water. And water. Together, at the same time, or separately? Oh, right, you got to put, no, you got to wet the hair, shampoo, rinse, and then you got to rinse, rinse off. Yeah. yeah. Right. What up, dog? It's a joke. Yeah, mate, got a problem here with my crush product. Can you help me out? Yeah, okay. Uh, I was hoping I could speak to that guy that was there today selling it. No worries. Can I ask his caller? I'll go and get him. Yeah, it's Mick from Wangaratta. Mick from Wangaratta. Thank you. Yep. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Just had a question about your product. Mick from Wangaratta. Hello. Yeah, mate, Mick here from Wangaratta. Yeah, how you doing, buddy? What's, what are you laughing at, mate? Oh, nothing, but just, yeah, just how can we help you? Yeah. i got a hole in my bucket. Oh, no worries, buddy, look, bring it in. Um, yeah, we've got a bit of a recall issue with those, but yeah, bring it in and we'll, uh, we'll replace it and get it sorted. Mate, I'm in Wangaratta. Yeah, jump in the car and bring it down, buddy. Do you know how far that is? <laughs> <laughs> Um, you can post it down, post it down to the store. Post it? Are you post it? Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely buddy, we, uh, customer service is key for Crush mate, so. Will you reimburse me for my freight? Uh, dude, I will drive up to Wangaratta and pick it up for you personally. <laughs> Today? This afternoon, I want to wash yes. my bike. Yeah. Today? This afternoon, yeah. We're just at a, uh, have you heard of it? Where did you purchase the bucket from? I came with guys off early today, mate. In the cycle station, yeah. We're still, yeah. We're still, we're still yeah. at the sale. So if you want to, uh, yeah, I'll leave you. No, I can't make it up there before close. No, I'll get up and see you, mate. <laughs> so if you want to, yeah, can you give me your address? Have you got your address yep. there? Yep, yep. 17. Yep, just writing that down. Yep, 17. Yep. Yakima. <laughs> Dude, I handled that well. <laughs> I was struggling not to. I was struggling not to laugh. Hello, my name is James Jimmer. I'm the workshop manager at Soccer Station. Is that good? Ladies and gentlemen, that's a wrap. Still going, we closed an hour ago, but the shop's still pumping along. That does not bother us at all. We'll just keep partying. Big Al here, desperate to go home. He's already started packing up the tables. You're doing it wrong, Big Al. Still got arm warmers here for $10 and all sorts of stuff going on. So it's been a big weekend. Thanks for everyone that came out to support us. See you soon. When's the next one, James? Don't tell them it's a secret. Ta-da.
What a weekend. That was a huge weekend. We set all sorts of records, made a lot of people happy with new bikes. Who doesn't like new bike days? Someone just yelled out, hey, it's Dweeb Kid, which is something I want to have a quick chat about. Got a one star review on Google today, uh, which is always a little bit um, hurtful, I guess, when you own a business. Because what your business is and what people judge your business to be is like a, it feels like a reflection on yourself. When somebody tells you that you're good and you're cool and your service is nice, it feels good. But when somebody says you're a dweeb kid with a wannabe moustache, you should grow up and let an adult run the shop. You know, some people might get under their nose. We had such a cranking weekend this weekend, I don't really care. Which is why I wrote a bit of a little response. And I might post a review here later and you guys can read it. It's, uh, yeah, it's interesting. I think if people uh, came along for the ride or maybe watched the story and saw what went into these sales, they might have a little bit of a different opinion on how much on how much the managers care. Uh, I've got a stand-up team and I support my team wholeheartedly. So anyone who wants to criticize that, like I'm happy to listen to, to anyone's opinions, but I've got full confidence in my staff. If you've ever been in Cycle Station or one of my businesses and you've had a good experience, which I trust most of you have, because I believe in what we do, I'd love a bit of public feedback. So feel free to get on Google or to get on Facebook and let people know what you think. Uh, we appreciate you, all our customers, and we work really hard. And all we want to do is meet our customers' needs and make them happy at a local level. So thanks everyone, have a good night.